The IMPT token will be listed on L Bank for trading, and this is the first centralized exchange where this token will be listed. And this video tutorial is a step by step guide on how, for those of you who have not claimed, how to claim your token, how to add it up to your wallet, how to deposit your token into the L Bank exchange, okay, and then how to trade it. And then wait, you know, I'll probably show you how to withdraw it because definitely you're going to trade it for USDT. So you can either withdraw USDT or use the USDT to buy any other token of your choice and withdraw. So I'm going to walk you step by step on how to do all of this in this video. Now, if we come to the announcement page of the um, L Bank Exchange, okay, it, it has specified there all that you need to know, okay? Um, the trading pair will be IMPT USDT, all right? And then the deposit um, started already. So right now, if you are seeing this video now, you can actually start depositing your um, IMPT token into the L Bank exchange. It means that you need to have an account with L Bank. So if you don't have an account with the exchange already, link will be in the video description to sign up for one. Okay. So here, when we come in here on the trading, so trading will start on the 14th. Okay. The time where the trading will start has been specified there. Then after that, a day after, if you want to withdraw the IMPT token you have there, whatever you want to do, the day after the trading or after the listing, the withdrawals will be enabled so you'll be able to withdraw your tokens if you want. Now, if you have not claimed your token already, if you have not claimed the IMPT token already, all you need to do, I will equally leave the link in the video description, you can go to claim.impt.io, okay, and that will bring you here, you will see once you connect your wallet, once you're on this page, whether you're using the mobile app or you're using the web version of it, once you're on this page, you will see an option that says connect wallet. I've connected my wallet already. That is why you see claim and then add IMPT to wallet. Okay. So once you connect your wallet, whether it is MetaMask or um, Trust Wallet, just go ahead and connect it. You'll see the option to claim. Once you click on claim, the token will just approve it. Okay. With the gas fee, make sure you have Ethereum on your wallet to be able to pay for the gas fee. So once you approve that, the token will be added to your wallet. Now, once you claim it, you will not be able to see the token. The next step you want to do is to come back here on the claim.impt.io and click on add IMPT to wallet. So once you add it up to your wallet, you should be able to see the token reflecting in your wallet. After you've done all of these things, the next thing is to create an account with L Bank and then withdraw the IMPT token from your trust wallet to your L Bank account and then wait for the time for trading and start trading it there. So to be able to do this, I'm going to open up my L Bank app, okay? I'll walk you step by step on how to do that on the app. All right, here I am and this is how the L Bank exchange look like, okay? So once again, if you don't have an account with L Bank, make sure you use the link in the video description to sign up for one. Okay, so once we come in here, the first thing we want to do is assume that you already signed, um, you know, you know, you already signed up to the L Bank Exchange. Okay, so once we come in here, the first thing we want to do is to make sure that we are on the wallet tab. Okay, this is the wallet, the first option down here. Okay, that is where you see your wallet. So once you click on wallet, it brings you here. Now, when it brings you here, the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and click on deposit. So once you click on deposit, you want to type in, use the search option at the top here to type in IMPT. Okay, so just type in here IMPT and then you see it pop up here. Okay, so this is it. You see it pop up there. So just go ahead and click on that. Once you click on it, it's only on the Ethereum network. That is why it is showing you ERC20. So go ahead and click on the ERC20. And then once you click on the ERC20, this is your L Bank IMPT wallet address. So go ahead and click on the copy option here to copy the wallet address. So once you click on copy, the next thing is to go to your wallet where you have the IMPT token if it is your MetaMax wallet or your Trust wallet. So you go there and then send the IMPT, the number of IMPT you want to sell on the L Bank exchange to this address we just copied right now. So I'm actually using the MetaMax in my own case. So if you are using Trust Wallet, okay, or any other wallet you bought the IMPT token with, you want to go to that wallet. So I'm, I'm on the MetaMax. So once I come in here to the MetaMax, now on the tokens here, 
okay i don't have the impt because i've not added it up yet so if you do not add it up using the option on the website that says add impt to wallet you can manually import the token so to be able to do that all you need to do is to click on the import token option once you are here on the option that says tokens okay import token option go ahead and click on it so once you click on it you have the option to search for the token here but what we are doing is to use a custom import okay the custom token so we go ahead and click on custom token and then um you go ahead and paste the contract address for the impt token now we probably leave the contract address in the video description so paste that contract address here so once this um shows up here what you need to do just to go ahead and click on import and that will be imported and then you can see the balance of your impt if you are not seeing the balance of your impt then they need you need to go ahead and claim it using the impt website okay and one thing i want to say here before i, I go ahead to show you how to withdraw this please do not use any website or connect your wallet to any website that is not the official website of the impt token um if you do that you can lose your money okay so once again we'll go to l bank and copy um, the address so just click on copy to copy that address now come back to trust wallet i'm um, sorry to metamax i'm using metamax so once you come to metamax you want to go ahead and click on the token the impt token so once you click on it you go ahead and click so go ahead and click on send now when you click on send you are sending from your wallet okay to the um l bank wallet so that address you copied from l bank go ahead and paste that address here okay so once you paste it once the address is correct all right of the network is actually correct this will be checked so once this is checked the next thing is just to click on next okay so once you click on next you now add up the amount of impt token you want to withdraw okay so if you want to withdraw everything just click on use max and then click on next and you go ahead and confirm the transaction in all of this make sure that you have ethereum in your wallet to be able to pay for the gas because the fee will not be deducted from the impt token it will be deducted from the ethereum you have on your wallet so once you make that deposit okay just within minute give it time within minute that will be reflecting in your l bank account now once you make that withdrawal okay it will now be reflecting in your l bank account you can see the impt token right here so once it's showing up right here the next thing you want to do okay um right now we'll not be able to see the um ongoing trade because it has not been listed yet but when it is listed what you want to do is to come in here to where it says trade okay click on trade then when you click on trade you will see um the token okay by default it is the l bank native token that is here so you want to go ahead and click on that once you click on that go ahead and search for impt okay search for impt and then it will pop up here now right now it, it is not showing up because we are um it has not been listed for trading already so it is not showing up here because it has not been listed for trading but once it is listed okay you will see the token here against usdt so go ahead and select it and once you select it you want to come um, by default the tokens will be reflecting here. okay you'll see the available token reflecting here so you want to come to the sell tab okay come to the sell tab now when you come to the sell tab it all depends on the current price okay whenever you see the price that you want because the price of the impt token will be reflecting here so if you see the price at the as at the time you are doing this if you see the price that this is something you will sell and then maybe you've made profit from what you bought during the pre-sale just click on the limit option okay you see limit here click on the limit option and select market and sell with the current market order all right but if you assume that the price will increase more than what you are seeing currently here then you can go ahead and use limit and specify the price at which you want to sell okay but if you like the current price just use market order and then you will see this pop up explaining what market order and all of that is okay just go ahead and after that just use the um you know the slider here slide it okay to the end to select all the tokens you want to sell or you can manually type in the number of token so once you slide it go ahead and click on sell and that is how you sell your impt token on the l bank exchange all right 
so after selling the next thing is to withdraw so to be able to withdraw your usdt or whatever you want to withdraw from the l bank go to wallet once you go to wallet you want to go ahead and click on withdraw okay so once you go ahead and click on withdraw you want to select let's say in this case we want to withdraw usdt so i'll go to the search and type usdt okay so type in usdt here and select usdt so once you select usdt you can follow this on screen help you go ahead and select the network so normally i do trc20 because it is cheaper okay so go ahead and select trc20 don't worry even if you deposited erc20 you can still withdraw at trc20 then after that just click on all and um, copy the address where you want to withdraw to from your exchange just copy the address and paste here then click on all okay and then go ahead and click on withdraw go ahead and you know follow the on-screen confirmations and that is it okay that is how you can deposit your funds into the l bank trade it on the l bank and then withdraw it back i hope this video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up all right and if you do have any challenge use the comment section um to let me know and i'll see how best i can help you if you are new to the channel and you gain value from the video do subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel that is it and i'll see you in next video